Hi everybody, this is City Readings and hi Scorpio. Let's see what messages will show up for you. There will be a link in the description box to the reading about your person if you're interested and as well as a bit about your finances, okay? So do check it out, it'll be linked below. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio, please? Friendship. I understand that a friend is in, that a friend is in my life for a reason. Okay, there's something big about friendship and happiness. A lot of you are trying to just be happy. There's a friend of yours that is making you happy or some of you recently fell off with a friend. I don't know. Something about friendship and something about happiness, okay? Um, it's like um, Scorpio. Something here is suggesting that you turn inward for guidance as well as, you know, the happiness that you're seeking is coming from within. Some of you, I feel like, okay... It, <laughs> I feel like pretty soon you're going to be connecting with a person who's going to make you very happy, whether that be a friend, a lover, whatever, okay? There is a connection here that could also make you very happy, okay? But overall, these energies are suggesting... So overall, these energies are suggesting some form of a connection here or talking about some form of a connection that's going to make you very happy. Okay, let's see. There's a friend of yours who may reach out. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Stabbed in the back. Oh my goodness. You've been hurt, haven't you, um, Scorpio? Okay. Somebody betrayed you recently. But I kind of feel like you're getting back on track with self-love and stuff. You're kind of like cutting it off. You're cutting the, um, how do I say this, toxic situations in your life, okay? You feel betrayed by somebody or you felt betrayed by somebody in the past, but I kind of feel like you're healing from it now, okay? All right. So tell me more for Scorpio, please. Show me what's there for Scorpio. Show me what's there for Scorpio. All right, so you have the King of Wands. I feel like Scorpio, a lot of you are trying to take action towards your passions and things that bring you joy at the present moment. You're planning ahead, you're planning for the future, okay? I feel like Scorpio, a lot of you used to talk to somebody that you do not communicate with anymore and it does hurt you, but you're trying to be like, okay, let me just like gather my thoughts and focus on whatever it is that I, that I am supposed to focus on, you know? <clears throat> with the Ace of Pentacles, there are new opportunities around you um and there there could be something new going on with your money new opportunities new like something new is here on the horizon okay um yeah there is a new opportunity here with the ace of pentacles and the justice card. I 
I feel like there is a person you've had differences with, Scorpio. And it does look like you're trying to make a logical decision about it or you're trying to separate yourself from that situation because you're not wanting to prove your point anymore. And it's like a lot of you are looking on the other side of things and it's like, okay, I need to get over this or I need to plan ahead, okay? You're patiently showing up for something here, especially with the two of wands. Four of swords. You're taking a break from love, even though there is somebody that I see is on your mind, but you're taking a break from love. You definitely are taking a break from love, okay? There's something, you know, you have to make peace with, Scorpio, because it's like at times we think about certain energies, certain things that happened in the past and we don't have the best uh, reaction to it. And the reaction that we have to it is basically what keeps manifesting for us. So it's telling you to make peace with something, make peace with a certain feeling, okay, that has been troubling you. You're already healing. You're already taking a break. Some of you could be sleeping a lot or you're wanting to sleep. Okay, you're wanting to take a nap. But this has a lot to do with making peace with the past, okay? Your outcome is the King of Cups, okay? Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Wands, somebody that you're connecting with. Scorpio communication coming in money is looking good for you this month um, I'm also seeing that there you know there's like okay that king of cups I feel like is you okay even though there is communication with the eight of wands that king of cups shows up as you what what is the king of cups look at that eight of pentacles finding your balance working on something um, some of you are busy with your work your goals this is also like okay I've overcome a certain emotion that used to make things hard for me, okay? What is the Ten of Pentacles? Knight of Cups, okay. Now, I kind of feel like you are healing, you are letting go of things, but there's a relationship here that is showing up, okay? Ace of Swords, oh my goodness. All right, Scorpio, there is a lot of focus on communication for you. Okay. There is a lot of focus on communication, a lot of it. Confession, communication, wanting to make peace with you, wanting to make amends. And this can also speak of you, okay? Like sometimes the closure that we're seeking when we give that closure to ourselves, it is that energy, okay? Show me more. Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords. Scorpio, one thing I get for sure here is that you will have options in love, okay? Even though you're healing from a past situation, you're letting go, you're focused on your money, your goals. There could even be something legal that you're handling. I am really, really getting that you're going to have options in love, okay?
I'm also getting Scorpio that there is a pattern that you're not wanting to repeat. Okay? There is a pattern here that you're not wanting to repeat. And honestly, I feel like you're going to have a lot to do. There is a lot on your plate, like literally, especially with the Seven of Cups. It seriously is like, oh, there's a lot on your plate. <laughs> this, that, and the other. But in the meanwhile, this with the Nine of Cups energy, love is showing up. And to me, it looks like it's a very unexpected energy. Like, this is something very unexpected, okay? Because your focus is not on it, especially with the Eight of Pentacles. And with the Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, for some of you, you're going to get a news about something. Um, you know, maybe some of you have been, you know, maybe you've applied for a job or you've been waiting on the news, something like that. Like, you'll, you'll get some form of communication that's going to clarify things for you. And secondly, when I look at it in, you know... Um, from the perspective of a love reading this is talking about communication or some form of confession you know wanting to make peace with you kind of an energy there is a lot of it like there is a lot of communication coming through scorpio your advice also has a lot to do with not getting stuck on something too much okay so let's read for you happiness and friendship to close off the reading. And I will be linking the reading about your person underneath the video as well as a bit about your finances. So you can check it out if you want. Um, okay, let's read for you happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. Before incarnating, your soul created a blueprint for you to follow in this physical dimension. The easiest way to chart this path is to follow your bliss. Life is full of choices and opportunities. Spirit, in its infinite wisdom, has given you the emotion of happiness to guide you. The signposts are always there, but you have to acknowledge them and have the courage to follow them. As you hold this card, do you feel that you're living it? that you're living a life of happiness in what areas is it lacking it may be time to be truthful with your soul self listen to its language and into it if there is someone or a scenario holding you back from experiencing complete happiness even though it may be painful to admit you need to be completely truthful be mindful of how happiness will affect every aspect of your life on your path also into it if there is someone else in your life who needs to be brought into the awareness of happiness this is important to recognize as well. Others will want to learn from you and whether you admit it or not, you can be their teacher. When you're filled with love and compassion, not only do you bring happiness into your life, but you lead others by example. So be the light. All right, let's read for you friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. The bonds of friendship are often stronger than those of family. You have formed a, bri a bridge of understanding between the two of you that has stood the test of time and of lifetimes, a true friend will illuminate your path instead of dimming it. He or she will give advice with your best interests at heart. To be able to communicate at a soul level with another human being is the biggest treasure of the physical dimension. That's it. Um, Scorpio, thank you so much for being here. Those were the messages that showed up for you and the extended will be linked below. Um, if you would like, you can also check out your 2022 predictions. Take care and bye-bye.